Hello, welcome to Ephemera Files by Tommy and part three of making my Trash to Treasure journal. And today I am just going to show you and maybe sort through and make some decisions on the different kinds of papers and ephemera I will use in this. Like I said in previous videos, I am trying to make it all junk, all stuff that is fairly easily accessible by anybody who is just beginning to make a junk journal or who just wants to try to use their stuff up because it is so easy to just accumulate and accumulate and not use your things. So we're going to use some of the things that we've accumulated that would normally be thrown away. And I finished up a coat hanger earlier and I still have dust and sawdust everywhere. So that's bothering me. <laughs> All right, one of the things that people don't usually think of are the little desk calendars where you tear off a sheet a day and normally you throw that sheet away. These are from 2018 and I still pull them out and use the sayings because I really like them. Find joy in the ordinary, uh, my aim is true, build your own dreams, choose to be joyful. I like that one a lot. And these are things that would normally be thrown away. What I really like about this bunch, and I actually bought two sets, so there's a mix, is that there is writing space on the back of it already provided because it's already lined. Now, those are not really conducive to being an entire page by themselves, but they will help cover some of the other things on other pages that you would use, like advertisements and things like that. I kept this from an old board game from Chinese Checkers because I just really liked the back of it. And that would normally have just been thrown away. And I didn't, but I need to use it because I've had it for years as well. Different kinds of bags. This came, let's see what, it had something in it and it's stapled. You can see the staple, so it's definitely could have been tossed to trash. This is from a local um, store that sells handmade bar soap and you could put the soap into the bag so that, to keep it separate from your food. And this is from Chili's and it held a fork and a knife. And those can be used as well. Here's a couple of envelopes, bank envelopes. Let's see, I'm trying to organize these a little bit. This is, what is this from? This is, oh, this is from a receipt for something that we purchased and I just tore off the top part that had the purchase information and the other part off of the bottom and I like the blue. And like I said, you can use these to cover up those words and still have a nice page. Let's see. This is this is a front of a card that I just tore off. This came with a stamping tool that I got. And it's it's a little long, but it can be cut. It can be used. I was trying to go, most of my trash to treasure bins are cardstock and cardboard, and I was trying to keep things fairly lightweight, so I didn't pull a whole bunch out of there. But I was able to get this. These are both part of packaging. Now they're shiny, so I'll have to do something about that so that they're usable for writing. Let's see, this is a bunch of envelopes. This is even just a partial envelope because I've already used part of it, I think, um, that were given to me that were leftovers from Halloween. And I probably won't use that part, but like these bats, I can pull right off. I can pull this fence off. Ooh, I may keep, I'm probably gonna keep both of those. I won't use them in this journal, but I might use them elsewhere. And if that sticker doesn't come off easily, I can cover it up. And the same with these. If I, if I can't get them off, I can cover them up. This one has some little leaves on it. 
that are just glued on. But these were being thrown away and somebody gave them to me instead. So those are usable. This is the inside wrapper from a bar of soap and it still smells wonderful. Oh my goodness. Let's see, we got some more junk mail. Another junk mail envelope and this one has the window. This is from a magazine. I got a magazine in the mail in the corner got ripped, so the post office put it in one of those bags that says, so sorry we mistreated your mail, or it doesn't say that, but that's how it is. And so this was in there and I saved it. This is the back of a check register, and I think I actually have a couple of pages of check register. Here's an envelope that I just thought it was so pretty. And I can use this as a page. I can cut it up and use it for different pieces. This is a mistake. And so I kept it. It was um, one of my printer pages where you do the test print. And I didn't want to just waste the paper. And so I tried putting it into a coffee dye. And it's just, it's a hot mess. But I didn't throw it away, which a lot of people would have. I'll figure out something to do with it. Here's a couple more calendar pages from 2020, the year where we needed no calendars. Let's see, I have a couple of these. These are from Kleenex boxes, and these make really cute tags, along with tag tags that I just kept off purchases that I made. And I have a bunch more of these. I just grabbed a handful. Another envelope, and this one is craft paper, and I really like that. I have a piece of acetate packaging that I can use to make a pocket or a shaker or different things like that. This is from the yellow pages of a phone book, and I kept it because of the lines. Let's see. This is from, oh, these are from Victoria's Secret Receipts. The pink lines probably tell it that. Here are the other parts of that old checkbook from 2017. This is something that I saved. Mm, it says Grand Casino Biloxi, so it must have been when we were on vacation, or my mother-in-law may have given this to me. See, I have two more soap wrappers, but I really like the picture on the front. And the inside is pretty easy to write on. If I take this liner out, this is pretty good paper for writing. I have a coaster. I can't remember where I got it from, but it's just a drink coaster. Let's see, I have another tag. These are the bottoms of bags. I cut off and I don't even remember why I cut the tops off but there's a lot of paper right there or pages another one here's a cute little tag that is two pieces and I thought that that would lend itself well to a hidden paper clip a couple of more envelopes from cards that I got let's see we're getting to the bottom of this pile that I created Here's another receipt from a, a thrift store, and I just kind of like it. Another tag. This is, this is from a hotel, and this was our car parking. No, this was our, our luggage. We had them hold our luggage. We had five pieces of luggage. This, I'm not even sure what it came from. It's just a piece of cardboard. We have some instruction papers that I saved from different products. And again, I think that they'll fold up and be really good sizes to go in there. I got some paint chips. This is from an old book, but I couldn't tell you which book or anything. Let's see, I have random pieces of tissue paper and napkins and the remainder of this master board. I have a cereal bag over here. I have some paper, 
some pattern paper. And those are all good too. This is from packaging. I took it out. And this is what I'm going to close with. This is a Splenda packet. And it just had this saying on it that said, Sprinkle kindness everywhere. And that would be my reminder to you today as we go through this journey, both in this journal and in this life with each other. Just remember, be kind always. Bye.